Welcome to Oxford Skugog Life. I'm your host, Jackie Hermans. Welcome to our 100th show. This is a show of celebration. And joining me in this celebratory episode, we have the gluten-free guy, and he is bringing us treats that are not only gluten-free, but also lactose-free. And Big Red is gonna be making a specialty drink to bring in some extra sunshine during this cooler weather. Make sure you keep on watching, because we will be right back with more on this 100th episode. See you soon. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Are you low on food? Struggling to pay the bills? Overwhelmed by life's challenges? When you need support but don't know where to turn, just dial 211. 211 connects you to the programs or services near you. 211, how can I help you? 211, help starts here. Hi, I'm Constable Darrell Rice, Durham Regional Police Service. Tune into Rogers Cable 10 to watch me on Seniors Talk with DRPS, where we'll talk about all kinds of amazing information and community programs for you, our seniors in Durham Region. Welcome back to Oxford Skugog Live. I got Big Red on the show again. Hey. So excited to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So we are making a drink here, and um, we're, we're going to give it a name as, as we go. Okay, so first of all, let's let's talk about you're like, are we? <laughs> <laughs> let's, tell us tell us what this concoction is all about and when we might enjoy something like this. Okay, well this uh, concoction is pretty much um, I'm not ready for winter to be here yet. So this is kind of like a spring summery celebration thing because it's also your one hundredth episode. <gasps> Yeah, thanks <laughs> so for the reminder. So congratulations on that. <laughs> so we're going to make you. we're going to make a kind of a celebration cocktail for you. I love that. And yeah. you know what? I personally usually have a hard time transitioning from summer to fall. It's the worst. It, it's really <laughs> tough because because yeah. I love summer. I love the warmth and then all the leaves coming down. And so but I'm in a place right now of acceptance. And so this is like, yay, yeah, this, new this beginnings, is, this new is, season. This is going to be like a spring's just around the corner <laughs> cocktail. Right, Yeah. which is so not true. No. But, I, but that's great. Up we here could, it's Up true. here it's yeah. going to be true. Okay, right. so what is in this concoction? Okay, so first we're going to start off with uh, Durham Distillery Strawberry Fields Gin. It's made with uh, fresh, it's infused with fresh strawberries grown at uh, Durham College. And wow. then money from this bottle goes back to... Uh, Durham College. That is amazing. Yeah. And can you actually taste the strawberries you can, within yes. it? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Okay. And then we also have an elderflower liqueur, uh, rhubarb bitters, and a sparkling top to it. Now, I tried an elderberry. Did I say it right? It's an elderberry. Elder, elderflower. Elderflower. Yes, yeah. I tried that for the first time last Christmas mixed in with some champagne. That's the best. It's Unbelievable. The best. Yeah. It was so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're. Okay, so how do we start? What yeah. do we do? All right, so it's going to go in a wine glass, but we're going to mix some stuff first. So the first thing we're going to want is an ounce and a half of this strawberry gin. Okay. And then after that, we're going to want three quarters of an ounce of the elderflower liqueur. I use St. Germain. But you can use any one you find, and if you're not, if you don't want the alcohol, you can always just find an elderflower syrup. Uh, like I said earlier to you off air, you can find it at IKEA. Wow! Who knew? Who knew that uh, <laughs> IKEA had uh, elderflower syrup? Right. Yeah. Um, so after the booze, we're gonna want to do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Okay. 
So that's usually just half a lemon will be good. Just squeeze it right into there. And then the best part, we're just going to get a couple strawberries. We, I cut them up. Okay. And we're just going to toss it. So it's nice floating in there. Exactly, yeah. Toss it right in there. Okay. And then my secret is just a little bit of rhubarb bitters. Again, that's nice spring flavor. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, question for you. With yeah. the strawberries, would you ever consider putting frozen strawberries in it to help keep the drink cold? Yeah, yeah. And, like, I, would that still be a good mix, or is it absolutely. way better fresh? I, 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 I prefer fresh, but you can also put frozen strawberries in after the fact as instead of like ice cubes or right, something. Right, yeah. right. That's what I was thinking. I know a okay. lot of people do that with frozen grapes. They just throw them into their wine or sangria as an ice cube. Oh, yeah. okay, nice. Yeah. All right. So next, we just want to get some ice. Well, you are prepared. Oh yeah, I'm always prepared. <laughs> and then shake, every, shake everything up. Ready? Ay, 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 ay! <laughs> <laughs> Strawberries and all, shake everything. It'll okay. get the, the juice out and a lot of flavors. Oh, it's see? even turning a bit pinky yeah, from the strawberries. Pink? Yeah. And then we'll just get a nice glass and then just pour everything right into the glass. That looks like a glass of joy right, right there. That looks like a glass. I think that should be the name of it. That's the name. A glass of joy. Glass of joy. <laughs> just top it up with a little more ice and then we'll get our bubbly. Okay, and why, why do you put it in after what's the, what's the scientific reasoning around that hold on this is my favorite part oh yes <laughs> that's celebration right there um so we put it in after the fact because if we were to shake it uh this would just get over carbonated and they would just okay just be explosive yeah exactly that's maybe too much of a celebration too much that's having like too many of these yeah exactly in, in a night maybe <laughs> oh that looks beautiful there's that and let's just throw a nice little just a strawberry on the rim there. Hey, why not? That looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, I think I need to have a sip. Be my guest. It's like too early in the morning, That's but okay. I can't not try it. <laughs> it's your 100th episode, you gotta try it. Mmm. That's delicious. Thank you. That is really delicious. Yeah. You, <laughs> I have to turn this down. It's really loud. That is so good. <laughs> I could see that being good spring summer and really any day yeah oh yeah yeah that's delicious yeah it's not a bad drink it's nice and nice and light nice and fruity yeah yeah okay and i just want to remind everyone about the uh, the durham distillery so yes. the strawberry fields or or anything from the durham distillery goes back to just, just the the strawberry fields one strawberry five, fields. five dollars from every bottle goes back to durham college because they did uh, grow the strawberries there. So they're trying to okay, get a little partnership amazing. going, yeah. I love it, I love it. Thank you so much for being on the show <laughs> Thank again. Thank you for having me. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have you back. So stay, we'll be back with more on Oxford Scugog Life. Hi, my name is Michael Kearns, and I'm a volunteer at Rogers TV. As a volunteer, I start my day off by setting up the set for the show. This includes setting up the backdrop, cameras, lights, conducting mic checks, and making sure everything is ready to go when we film. Then it's time for lights, camera, and action. Being a volunteer means I get to experience things I've been dreaming of, such as shooting mobile hockey games for the Oshawa Generals, which is an amazing experience. Here's Volani, long shot, scores! And Salinitri now will shoot it in. He's got a partial two on one with Bowler. Salinitri to Bowler, back to Salinitri! What a play, Kyle Bowler! And the best part, when we come back the next day, we get to do it all over again. My name is Michael Kearns, and I volunteer for Rogers TV. Welcome back to Oxford School God Live. I got the gluten-free guy here again. Hey, thanks for having me. It is so great to have you on the show, it's Joel. It's so nice to be back. 
Well, um, and I just want to say I love your bow tie, your sprinkles. You got a burst of joy there, just like the beautiful drink that I we made with uh, Big Red. You are just bursting more joy and, energy. And it's about celebrations and happiness yes. and bringing lots of joy. And I mean, with the holidays coming, yes, we've got summer wrapping up, but there's always party time and yes. you want to make cookies and have those things I ready. I love that. And with, with making cookies, they last for, well, if you don't eat them, up like weeks. So you can make them well in advance and not yes. worry about it. And then when guests come over unannounced or announced, then you've you got have cookies. cookies. Do you normally nice. bake and then freeze a bunch? You can definitely do that. Yeah. Yes. And then yeah. just bring it out, let them thaw during yeah. that day and then yeah. you take them out. Yeah. Okay. Which is nice. <clears throat> Something that I'm drawn to saying too is thinking about the holidays, I can see for some people their stress levels just start <laughs> rising and it ends up being a, I have to get my baking yeah. done. I have yeah. to do this. So it, I, I just wanted to reinforce that it really is your mindset yeah, and absolutely. you could like, you have so much excitement about baking and you I inspire me. So just you know, we can try with our own perspective to be able to say, okay, I'm yeah. going to have fun with baking. I'm going to yeah. set aside some time. It's not that I have to. It's because I want to. Yes. Because you're bringing joy to other people yeah. as yeah. well as just looking at this brings me so much joy. And this is a really simple recipe. And I had a dinner party a couple weeks ago and it went so easily for me. Like, I mean, normally when you have a dinner party, like you have your, your guests in the living room and then somebody's always stuck in the kitchen baking and making and, yeah, yeah. and putting things together. And it was, I think I was in the kitchen for maybe 30 minutes throughout the whole evening. That's and I'm amazing. Like, this is amazing. I actually got to socialize with my guests and it's about streamlining and simplifying. And simplifying is, is this platter here. I mean, chocolate aside, all of these cookies are one recipe, which wow. is I think great, especially when it comes to um, Christmas baking or holiday baking. Yeah. Um, and they all just have slight variations. So you can make a big batch of dough and then put some aside and add a bit of this or add a bit of that. Exactly. Okay, so tell us what you have here. Okay, so so these cookies, which are amazing um, and really buttery and creamy, they're, they're a vanilla butter cookie. Mm. And that's the base recipe right there. And then from there, you can add a little bit more sugar and a little bit more flour, and you've got a sugar cookie. Okay. Which, simple. Yeah. Like, nice and easy. Yeah. Um, I have a Linzer style cookie, which is this one, which has, um, and you can see it's a nice golden brown on the bottom. And that, Linzer cookies typically have like almond meal in them, but we're not free in our house, so I put um, ground up oats. Oh, nice. Like a coarse ground oat in there, and I put in a little bit of triple sec instead of almond. Um, extract so it, it it adapts really well okay okay and then we've got um, our ginger snap cookie and and you can see I mean that's just adding ginger and cinnamon and oh, we had the signature bow tie can, can you tell yeah. why I made them I mean <laughs> <laughs> I love it and then we've got a chocolate cookie and that's just adding cocoa and oh, like, so from the base recipe from the base you recipe add, the cocoa. Just add a little bit here and there and You've got all these cookies. I made these in, I'm going to say, from start to finish, about an hour and a half. That's incredible. So an hour and a half, you've got a tray of cookies ready to go. Yeah. I can see Red's eyebrows have, like, popped up. And it's like, <laughs> mm. wow, really? <laughs> and, and, I mean, you don't have to think about it. I mean, because when you're baking, the stress load goes higher and higher. And when you're thinking Christmas baking, you're like, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. Right. So what why why do... Why have an extravagant recipe that, you know, then you have to put in the freezer for a while or you have to put it in the fridge, you have to let things sit, you have to, that could take hours yeah. and hours. And those recipes are great, but sometimes you just want simple. Yeah. And you, that's what it is. The, the key message for me lately has been simplify, yeah. simplify. I even saw on someone's dehumidifier. It said simplify on it. I'm like, there it is again. <laughs> there it is yeah. again. So these are the type of cookies, they're the type of Christmas baking that would be a really good match for me. Absolutely. I want to yeah. keep things simple. And now tell me about the bark recipe because that, that's also quite simple, right? It, it is. So I okay. took, um, I have bags and bags and bags of Belgian chocolate at home because I make my own chocolate oh. um, in, in its raw form. And, and you melt down chocolate 
and you have to keep it in temper, so that's the, that's the tricky part. It has to stay under 34 degrees Celsius. Okay. And then you don't have to worry about it at that point. So you microwave it in little bursts of like 20 seconds, stir it around, and then when it's almost totally melted, you stop and you just keep stirring it, making sure that it stays under that temperature, and you mix in some, some candy cane, like broken up in there, and you've got candy cane bark. Like, nice. And normally, because your household is not free, you don't put nuts in it, but you can add... Absolutely. You could make almonds, it... Almonds, walnuts, yeah, pecans, absolutely. things like that. Raisins, cranberries, like you could make it almost like a... I don't even... I can't think of what it's called, but it's like a, a rocky road almost. Oh, wow. With marshmallows yeah. and stuff in it? And and for this one, you just use the th thermometer, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's and that's a thermometer. It. I love it. Thank you, you Joel. You have inspired you. me. Do I want to try one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try okay. as I'm wrapping it up. Great. I'm going to start with the bark. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more on Expert Scoot Gog Life. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, my. out in TV land. Are you a struggling artist looking to catch a break? I'm the BMD and I'm starting a new show called Meet the Band. My new show showcases up and coming artists locally in the Durham region. The show promotes the artist and their creative content on the Rogers Cable Network. So tune in and connect with me at the BMD podcast at gmail.com. Welcome back to Oxford School God Live. I got Joel, the gluten-free guy, and I got Big Red here. We're we're having like a, a fireside chat, or I should say a, a cookie and gin <laughs> side <laughs> chat, which is awesome. I love it. Okay, I want to come back to, to these two things first to start. So this drink was was fabulous. Now, Thank you. We've, we've all been like sipping it here. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, now, Joel, how would how would you describe it? I mean, it's it's... Not an overly strong drink where where it's like a mart it's not like a martini and yeah. and I really like that it's it's smooth it's it's got nice notes about it I really like that the strawberry actually pops out in little notes here yeah, and there. Yeah, yeah. it's a really nice touch yeah I find uh, the the strawberry gin is very it's not too ginny it's not too in your face yeah, yeah. the strawberries give it a nice little uh, flavor to it a nice almost a sweetness and then when you put the uh, elderflower liqueur the lemon juice and the bitters in there it just kind of it, it plays nicely with everything else yeah. kind of uh gets rid of the gininess with all the other flavors brings a little bit of sweetness a yeah. little floral it's nice it's, it's a really nice easy easy sip and drink yes yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really nice that's a and nice party do. drink yeah, yeah. A nice what drink? Party drink. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you're having guests over, this would be a great one to make a big picture of. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Absolutely, yeah. And then, yeah, I love that. Um, okay. Your recipe, where can they get or all the recipes for this? I know it's the same thing, you just add different Yeah, so different so ingredients. I, I'm gonna put my recipe on my glutenfreeguy.ca website. Okay. Um just because that's where you can get it and it's it's such an easy recipe. I mean, I I love the simplicity of it. Yeah. And I thought, why not share it? I don't have a video of it yet to come out. I'm hoping maybe next Christmas because I've got all my my slots are filled already for oh, okay. it. Okay, your video for making it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but okay. but I mean, definitely make it and then and then if they have questions, just message me. Yeah. Okay. Now I do have to try one of the cookie cookies, yeah, try and I one will. Of the cookies. But the the bark is amazing, bark, and especially with it being 
simple, yeah. but you get that chocolate, you get yeah. that candy cane. You, I loved your reaction. It's, it's the so camera good. went off and you were like, oh my God, that's yeah. good. <laughs> it's, there, yeah, there are words I wanted to say, which is maybe not appropriate for TV, but my, like my reaction was, yeah, like that's yeah. awesome. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys have your own shows going on and uh, people can find them on YouTube. They can find, yeah. if they get, if they have Rogers TV, they can get them on Rogers. I want to hear how the show has been going. What's your react? What have been the reaction? How has it been maybe also helping, um, I guess for you getting the word out about what you do? So like who, who wants to go first? Well, we Brett, go oh, for oh, it. Yeah. You're such a gentleman. <laughs> um, my 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 mom thinks it's good. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Mom approved. Right? Mom approved. I, I haven't really I haven't watched it myself, my show. Um, so but I've heard good things from people who have watched it, so and, okay, things are going well. For those who haven't seen it, it's called Eating Out with Big Red. Yes, Eating Out with Big Red. Yeah. I it's kind of like so my whole thing is I work in the hospitality industry. Uh, COVID did quite a number on the hospitality industry. So my whole idea is to get out there in Durham, show different restaurants what they have to offer and just kind of get the word out, get people, get butts in the seats. Absolutely. Get everybody spending money, even though money's a little tight right now, but... Well, you're definitely creating that excitement. And I love Ooh. how you have the little... Uh, excerpts on your Instagram yes so those of you who are not connected with Big Red on Instagram it's it's Big Red Big Red right? underscore official on Instagram okay and okay. then I also have a website it's uh, boozin.ca Awesome. Boozin. Boozin. B-O-O-Z-I-N. I love it. Yes. Okay, Boozin. Okay, awesome. Well, I think it's, to me, it's a fantastic show. Thank you. I and, appreciate that. Yeah, and you're really creating inspiration for people to diversify when it comes to eating out. Yeah, we, we've like yeah. I said, we've got a lot of great restaurants out there, and uh, I've got a great team with me, so we just want to show, we want to show everybody what uh, Durham has to offer. Yeah. yeah, and then you That's get to test out all, all this food. Right? Like, phew. It's, it's a really, tough job. You're smart. But, yeah. You're smart. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and Joel, how, is, how has it been going for you? It's been really good. Um, things have just gotten a lot busier for me. I mean, I, I've seen an uptick in, in sales with Frankie's, the gluten-free bakery I have. Um, every time I put a recipe out, I've, I've seen more people are like, hey, I'm going to try this flour. And, I mean... It, it's we're selling it nationally and That's we're amazing. we're selling heaps and heaps of flour i think i just dropped off i just shipped out 130 kilos of flour to an order because i'm like this is bananas at how much and it, it's it's nice to see that people can make great tasting food yeah without compromising right what i love about your flour it's cup for cup yeah right if you if a recipe calls for a cup of and people normally use this flour you need to go gluten-free just use a cup of Joel's flour and it's it's and nice it's and easy same. yeah yeah because what I was doing before is um, you know okay I have to get a little bit of tapioca and then I have to get a little bit of this and a little bit of that yeah. it ends up being so expensive that way well and then you've got Whereas, jars of all these different flours yeah yeah and it so gets yeah, it gets tri tricky. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. I love it. So great to have you guys on the show again. <laughs> Thanks for having us. I wait us. for my invitation to go on your show. Uh, it's coming. <laughs> okay. It's coming. We'll be back with more on Oxford Scoot Gog Live. It isn't the heavy trays that make the job difficult or the fast pace you need to keep up. It's not working another double because someone called in sick. What makes the job tough is the moment you realize a customer has had enough and you have to make that decision not to overserve. Refusing service isn't personal, it's the law. We know it's not easy, but we're counting on you to keep us all safe. Thank you, servers, for doing the tough job. Hi, I'm Sean Lackey, and this is Sold with Sean Lackey. You should check us out if you want to find out what's going on in the world of real estate. We'll have all sorts of guests to keep you in the loop on what's going on in this wonderful world. 
Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Karim Grant. I am the host of The Player's Corner. Season two is coming right at you. Make sure you stay tuned. We have a lot of exciting guests right here at Rogers Durham TV. Make sure you're there. Welcome back to Oxford Scugog Life. So what a what a treat. I have to tell you, I also had one of Joel's cookies. You, uh, you can't even tell it's gluten-free. One of the butter cookies. Oh, so good. All right, so as I've been doing at the end of the show, I'm pulling a card to assist us with the energy uh, for the week. So I'm pulling it from my energy oracle cards. And the card that came uh, came up, I've actually never had this card before. It's a fairly new deck. It's called The Thinking Woman. So I'm just going to bring it into the camera here. I'll give you a little chance to, to look at that. And then I'm going to study it as well and see what messages want to channel through. Okay, so first of all, there is a butterfly and it's very upfront in front of her. So we have been going through a really big transformation. She's holding a book. It looks like she has been studying and she's in the midst of processing. So we've been processing not only uh, the past, but also with where we are in the, in the present and how we have gone through this evolution. And I believe it is a time to celebrate how far that we have come. She's also wearing a green dress and we are getting into our heart chakra. There's been a heart chakra clearing, a healing that is still going underway so we can get into that core. And, and that will help us to have a different perspective about about things, about situations, about people, more compassion and understanding and help us to make choices that are coming more from our heart. She's also, she also has a scroll. So I feel like she has all the information that she needs to be moving forward. She's also wearing some flowers on her head that have purple, but there's also some green. So again, it's following our intuition. So I feel like it's uh, third eye as well as crown chakra helping us to move forward. There's also other flowers that are very vibrant in this pick in bloom. And um, it is solar plexus energy. They're yellow. So this is us standing into our confidence, our courage, and moving forward in uh, with the core essence of who we are. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next week with more on Uxbridge Scugog Life. Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. All I wanted was to see a movie. One down, please. I can't sell downstairs tickets to you people. How dare they? I could afford to buy the more expensive ticket. I run my own business. <laughs> but they refuse to take my money. They left me there all night. On what charge? They said I didn't pay the theater tax. But it was really about color. Sister Desmond, appeal this conviction and your community will stand behind you. Do you have any idea what this will do to us?